like, I understand. Like, sometimes, like, the movies are just going, like, the movie's watching you, you know? I know. <laughs> <laughs> but I literally was like, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. And I'm like, and the thing is, if my movie had also been, like, 90 minutes, I probably wouldn't have gone back. Yeah, but I was like, I my movie was a whole, like, two plus hours. Two hours I need yeah. to go back. I was like, yeah. I actually have to go back and figure out what happened here. <laughs> Yeah. And then I and then I like watched it like normal and was like, okay, mm. this is still not great, but yeah. at least I kind of know what's movie, going on. At least now I know it. <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm Danielle, and I'm Del, and this is the Black Catch Up, where we're catching up on iconic Black media we missed out on in our more conservative religious childhood. <laughs> So today we had another two. Above Tupac the one. Rim. Yeah. Yeah. Above the Rim. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel Tupac. This is like the yeah. third movie with him. <laughs> yeah. Also, so. the third movie we've seen of him where he doesn't rap. Yeah. He was on the soundtrack. I believe a lot he's on the one, soundtrack. But yeah, but yeah, he does no, not rap. No, so, really no, solidifying no his acting career with no yeah. <laughs> rapping <laughs> in, yeah, for yeah. this character. <laughs> But okay, starting off as always with IMDb. Um, story of a promising high school basketball star and his relationships with two brothers, one a drug dealer and the other a former basketball star fell in on hard times and now employed as a security guard. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Okay. Um, yeah, as usual, start off with the positives. Um, you want to kick yeah. this one off? Yeah. Oh, maybe I can. Okay, there it is. Okay, so I said, the first thing I had was I really enjoyed the mom character and Tupac's character. I think those were mm. the strongest, both acting-wise and kind of like um, plot-wise, more or less. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah. No, I, really I just thought she was Tupac. a good mom. Yeah. I thought yeah, she was a good yeah. mom. I like when she slapped her kid when he was having his little breakdown or whatever mm -hmm. and yelled at her. And she was like, uh-uh, not up in here. I love that. And Tupac was a good actor, so I liked his character in this yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I agree. I thought I thought they were probably the two strongest actors, and I also yeah. thought that we got to see the most of their relationships with um, the uh, Kyle, the kid, the the. the main yes, character. his name is Kyle. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I literally just finished this movie like twenty minutes ago. Can't remember the kid's yeah. name. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, I definitely thought we like got to see their relationships the most and kind of see like. I think those relationships yeah. definitely have, like, the most emotion, like, attachment in them yeah. kind of thing, you know? Those are the um, strongest. Yeah, the first thing I had, I really liked the, the basketball in this film. Like, Oh, I said that, was, too! Yeah, it was definitely one of, like, the more realistic depictions of basketball on the screen I think I've seen. And, um, yeah. and also I liked how the movie was, like, kind of focused on basketball or, like, didn't yeah. have too many unnecessary things going on or, like too many like unnecessary plot points or like unnecessary characters doing like things on the sides so, like yeah. i like how it like kind of remained focused which is yeah, good, especially considering how basketball. short it is you know yeah um i also said i enjoyed the basketball i really liked how solid it looked especially during the mm -hmm. playground game that they yeah. had like the playoff playground because it wasn't in the gym mm -hmm. so it was something separate but yeah i really liked it and i found it a flex that um the security guard i think his name was Oh, crap. It was just up in the MDB. Shepard, yes, Shepherd. thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was such a flex that he went out in dress pants. Yeah. No, he had the whole, like, 12 years of slave fit on, like, the, yeah. the whole, like, <laughs> white thing. And I was like, come on. Like, you knew you were going to play. Like, why didn't you, like, put shorts on? Like, something. I will why say they did slacks? movie magic. I think they did a little bit of movie magic so that whilst he was playing, they probably, like, switched it out to, like, sweatpants that were the same yeah, like, yeah. look. But it was yeah. such a flex for him to be like, yeah, I'll go play. And meanwhile, he's in, like, a button-up and Long <laughs> sleeve, yep. Yeah. Yep. And just put a little, um, what was it, the vest thing? Yeah, the, the little, like, the, jersey the thing. Penny. penny. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, such a flex. Um, I respected no, really that. Was. Really, I did, too. I did, too. Um... Okay, the next I had, I really liked Marlon Wines and uh, Bernie Mac's characters. Uh, I thought they were yes, really funny. I put that too. I thought they were good yeah, comic yeah. relief. The funny, the funniest scene in this one was when um, I forget who the whoever Tupac's like shooter guy was, the guy who yeah. like was always like toting the gun. He like he like ro not robs, like gets money from those two guys on the street. Get back yeah. to the car. Marlon Wines goes, 
what, what does he say? He says something like, do you need a hug or something? Or like, <laughs> <laughs> he says something along those lines. Like, I was Yeah, just they were laughing. really good comic relief. But yeah, I so really like them. Like, very funny, very funny. Um, The last thing I had was I really enjoyed the one-on-one game that Kyle and Shepard played mm. that night. First of all, yeah. Shepard came in like, uh, 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 like an Avengers villain or something in that he long did. trench coat he just like randomly growl like mumble growling at him I was like yeah, are we yeah. in the same movie like what are you doing yeah, but yeah. the the game was six I really liked how the game like played out all of his mm-hmm. steals were like butter they were just like yeah <laughs> all of a sudden he doesn't like, have the ball and I was like holy shit yeah 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 it was kind of like the same thing like um he did to or the the Kyle kid did to uh, Bernie Mac's character, a flip, I think. Yeah. Yeah, where yeah. he was like kind of just like playing with him, like just kind of showing off and like, hey, I'm that much better than you. Like, I don't even, like, yeah. I know we're just playing to the first score, but I'll let you keep going or like, I'll let you keep trying to stop me kind of thing. So yeah. I, I, I like that scene as well. Um, yeah, I really like that. The last positive I had, I the music and fashion. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought there were like some good outfits in this one, like Tupac. Good outfits, was, some big jeans. Some good outfits going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was a lot of fun. Definitely that like, like late 90s kind of kind of vibe you know yeah um okay so more negatives um i will say you could go first because i think i just went first oh okay yeah um there wasn't a lot of character development to me like the Mm -hmm. characters seemed like pretty stubborn for no reason and like yeah I don't think they really changed, especially like Kyle and, and uh Shepard, who I thought like no, should have changed the most. Like Kyle was pretty much just like arrogant the whole movie and then like randomly he started passing at, yeah. at like halfway through the movie and but like I didn't see what kind of triggered that. It seemed like he should yeah, have still been don't. the same kind of arrogant prick he was the whole movie. And then mm-hmm. Shepard was just like super cold throughout the whole film, like Yeah. No heart and like he like I guess like I understand like the, the comeback of him playing that final game, but like even that didn't even feel gradual. It just felt like kind of like he had to because the movie was almost over. Yeah. You know? like, <laughs> it didn't feel like they like really showed any type of like character development for those two yeah. characters. And um, I get what you mean. I guess maybe maybe similar. I would have liked to see them together on screen more, like bonding. It seemed like the game was kind of the there were only real like moments yeah. together. Like that w- that wasn't like completely like negative or them just like shit talking each other kind of thing like it seemed like they could have had more moments together you know yeah uh i guess my points about them as well i just thought shepherd and kyle were the weakest actors Mm -hmm. on screen and that was not good because the movie's about them yeah so and their relationship with each other and maybe the reason they didn't have more scenes together is they couldn't handle it like Mm -hmm. i don't know it just felt as though shepherd didn't emote at all, ever. He didn't. So at all. he was just kind of at very all. stoic, and I guess it maybe worked with his character, but I honestly couldn't understand what his character was since he yeah, didn't yeah. grow or change. So yeah, that's yeah. a dead on arrival. And Kyle also kind of mostly showed anger, which is yeah, slightly yeah. better than showing nothing. So I'll give him that, I guess. But they were just the weakest a- actors, and that's not good when your whole movie is based on mm-hmm. them. So yeah. I, when we have, like, Tupac's character who's, like, popping on screen and, like, doing things and having yeah, different yeah. layers of emotion, it's like, man, bring that guy back. <laughs> yeah. Like, now we're stuck yeah. with these two cardboard cutouts. Yeah, What's yeah. going on? Yeah. Um, I didn't like Shepard's backstory either. Like, I don't know. Like, oh, I didn't understand it, like, it. That nightmare at the beginning, I thought it was just some random nightmare, but I guess that's what actually happened. So his friend, like, ran up to touch the backboard. The backboard broke, and he fell out a window and died. I think that's what that's happened to That's what friend. that was? That's what I think happened at the beginning. That's what it looked like, but I thought it was just a nightmare, so I ignored it. But I it thought it was out a nightmare, was too. actually dead. But I think that's I think that's what they were saying because they didn't say how he died, so I assumed the the nightmare was real. Then I was like, because then they, they even had that scene where like oh my God. where like Shepard goes past those like two kids doing the same little challenge to like see who could touch the yeah. backboard higher, and like I was like, that's really that's what you all are going with, like like just shoot him or something, like any other movie would have done, you know? Like, <laughs> why are we, why are we having to fall out a window? Like what does that even? That doesn't even make sense, you know? <laughs> yeah, I didn't. Okay, so. I didn't understand his backstory at all. Yeah, yeah. It just, it didn't make sense to me. I also, um, they kind of like shoehorned it in a little bit when the coach was like 
saying that you owe this kid something. Mm-hmm. And I was like, first of all, yeah. he was right when he says he doesn't. But then mm-hmm. afterwards, I was like, what are you even talking about? Nothing that you're saying yeah. makes sense. <laughs> and he was like, you owe it because your friend and something died. And I was like, what are we yeah. doing? Yeah, like, what was, is that happening? That was the kid who fell out the window I hate after it. hitting the backboard. I hate it. I hate it so hard. <laughs> yeah. I didn't understand <laughs> that was it. Terrible. One bit. That was I didn't get it too. one bit. And I guess his mom died too shortly after that or something, or maybe yeah. around that same time. So, but, oh my God. Yeah, I did that, not that understand backstory was backstory. That, was, that was very far fetched to me. <laughs> like, that was, was like, just that's, so murky. That's what you're going with. Yeah. They kind of like, they just complicated things for no mm-hmm. reason. Like, yeah. Like you said, he couldn't have just been shot or something. Yeah, like, like any other Eric black gang behavior. You know, like <laughs> like it could have just been movie. gang behavior at that park. Exactly, and like, exactly. Or something, but instead they yeah. had to do this weird backboard thing that yeah, I did yeah. not even get. And oh my god, it was a mess. It was yeah. so messy. And then I didn't um, understand how that stopped him from playing. But I guess that's that. I guess, no, I guess he just got like depressed. Board. Yeah, I guess he like just got yeah. depressed and like stopped. Doing and then his mom. It and then his mom yeah. died. But it seemed like his mom died recently. I don't mm-hmm. know the time. To- Okay, him and his timeline and his backstory was just like because yeah, that's the thing he didn't like explain anything. I don't think he ended up explaining anything throughout. No, the whole nothing movie. was explained at you all. Know? Not even a little um, bit. I couldn't even gauge how old he was. Like this was no, old, no, old. so. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I assume he was the same age as, like, Flip, the Flip character, but I didn't know how old he was either. It was hard to tell yeah. how old he was, you know? I couldn't tell. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, My last thing, the stakes, I couldn't tell what the stakes were for, like, most of the movie. Yeah. Um, like, I didn't really get what Tupac's motive was. Like, I, I get that there was a game, but I guess maybe he just had a lot of money on it, but it didn't seem like that... Like, it, it just, like, everyone just acted like the stakes were really high, but I didn't see why they were high until yeah. the very end when, like, Guy pulled out the gun, and I was like, I guess these are high stakes, but, <laughs> like, it, like, I didn't even, I didn't even, like, feel anything at that point, because I was like, why are, like, it's a basketball game, like, where, why, where, why did these stakes get so high, you know? The only stakes I kind of understood were Kyle's, where he wanted to get into Georgetown, I think. Yeah, He wanted yeah. to get a basketball scholarship, I understood that, but then he, like, freaked the fuck out at that one game and i was like so he freaked out at all gonna... the games he was doing terrible at all the games from a scouting <laughs> perspective like he didn't pass the ball so like the fact that he ended up getting the scholarship kind of blew me at the end because i was like he did nothing to prove that like from that first scene we saw him not have the scholarship he did nothing that like would make me say give this kid a scholarship so like yeah because in the beginning he wasn't passing i was more yeah. on going on the um last game in the in the gym where he like broke out into a fight yeah, no, I know, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, that that was the one where have, I specifically yeah, ha- should not what? have gotten the, the <laughs> thing. Should not have gotten an offer for that type of behavior. You know. Yeah, but then I was like, oh, did a did a scout come to this little playground game? But that actually mm-hmm. didn't make any sense. So yeah, him getting yeah. a scholarship does not make sense to me. So nope. like I understood what his stakes were and how he wants a scholarship, but I didn't understand yeah. how he got it. Yeah, but like, and, and, and like the coach wasn't helpful either because like you got to bench the player. You, like if he's not passing, you got to bench him. Yeah. You got to talk to him. Like. Again, no change. He made no change to, like, his game or his character throughout the no, movie. So it was, like, no. hard to believe that he deserved that or, like, you know, kind of, like, yeah, but honestly, like, it's hard to believe he deserved that, like, scholarship after, like, not changing and not, you know, improving or anything, you know? Yeah. Uh, the last thing I had was I didn't understand Kyle's dislike of Shepard, especially Kyle's in the beginning. Kyle's dislike of Shepard? Yeah, he didn't like him. But oh. I didn't understand why. Because he was rude to him before Shepard started dating his mom. Okay, he was so mean I, I chalked that up. I chalked that up to the kid just being on like ten the whole movie and like angry. What was the other movie we watched? Was it um Drumline? I, yeah, I want to say Drumline, where he was just like ready to fight at every given opportunity. I that just chalked it up to that because okay. he was very much that same energy of like. I don't care who you yeah. are. I'm going to talk my shit, you know? Like, yeah, because I genuinely was like, why does he hate him so much? It can't yeah, be because he's dating yeah. his mom. Because he hated him long before no, he, that. he definitely did. He definitely did. And also, he I was like, did. I don't think it has to do with the whole Tupac hating his brother. Because he no. didn't even know they were he related until, no. like, <laughs> pretty middle of the movie. Yep, yep. No, I chalked it but, up to him just being an asshole. Which okay. is why I like, <laughs> Yeah, I guess maybe we'll get into ratings now. Are we, are we good for ratings? Yeah, we're good for ratings. I have yeah, nothing else Yeah, for this. I gave this one a two because I felt nothing for... I, I didn't <laughs> like Kyle. Like, Kyle was so unrelatable. He was just angry the whole time. He didn't deserve his his uh, scholarship in the end. Like, they gave me nothing between Kyle and Step... Shep, the, uh, the, the, yeah, uh, Shep. Like, 
new security the guard. Guy, yeah, the security guard. Like they they had like no good like real good moments together except for the game, you know. And even the game was like angry, you know. Like it was a very angry game, yeah. you know. And so like it was just like a, I don't know, just wasn't wasn't my favorite movie. And like the plot was like again like I couldn't tell how like invested I should be in some of the things like. The stakes just do not seem real. They seem, like, arbitrarily high. Like, high for, like, no real yeah. reason, you know, for the people to be acting like that, you know? Yeah. So, um, yeah, this one got a two for me. Uh, this one also got a two for me. Uh, like, you, like a lot of your same points. Just for me, the plot was so murky in terms mm -hmm. of, like, what, who am I rooting for? I don't even know. The two people that we ha were supposed to attach ourselves to the most were like cardboard cutouts. Yeah. So it's like, what am I supposed to do with this? Um, uh, uh, the bright spot in this movie was Tupac, but he wasn't in it enough. Yeah, no, it really And was. like, <laughs> that's so bizarre. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. Like, I didn't, I honestly didn't expect him to be the best actor in the movie. I don't know if no, that's like a mean thing to say. I just didn't. No, that's, but, that wasn't his primary thing, you know. Like, <laughs> yeah, I guess because you like know him as a rapper, so I'm like, yep. when people tend to cross over, you're not like, oh, I'm expecting you to get like Meryl Streep level performances. Yeah, and he yeah. didn't, and he definitely didn't give like Meryl Streep, but he definitely gave better than the other two guys you were supposed to root no, for. He did. He so did. it was like, I wanted to, I wanted to root for him more, but too bad I didn't understand what he was doing either. Yeah, yeah. No, because I, I got but, really tired of, of the Steph, the, uh, uh, Shep guy, because he, like, oh showed God. no emotions, told told us nothing about anything. Like, people would ask him direct questions, and he would just walk off screen. And I'm like, wait, these <laughs> questions need answers. Like, <laughs> I need an answer to this. You can't just walk off screen and call it a day. <laughs> but, like, yeah, man. the people we were supposed to be tied to, they, they sucked. I'll just say it. They yeah. sucked. Yep. I'll no, call a spade a spade. They were not great. <laughs> and... <laughs> So it's very hard to get invested when you don't like the main people. Mm -hmm. And not even like a fun, I don't like them. As in like, they're like almost like a like a villain kind of person where yeah, I've been watching yeah, scary like movies and... kind of thing. Yeah. It wasn't mm -hmm. even like a no. Hannibal Lecter thing where like you don't like Hannibal Lecter. But like he's fun to watch. He's like actively doing things on screen. He has different yeah, emotions. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't yeah. even get that. <laughs> No, we got none of that. None of that. We just got we unlikable got none of those characters, things. like <laughs> that just like stood there with their straight face half the movie. Yeah, or we're just like Shep. angry the whole movie, like just straight face the whole movie. Oh my gosh, they were like those um, guards in front of in London, the 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 tower guards. Oh yeah, like, yeah. Try not yep, to make the move. move. That was them. <laughs> yep, yep. Could do anything. <laughs> uh, so final question: Do you wish you saw this sooner? Yeah, easy no for me. Um, <laughs> yeah, the basketball was really the only thing I liked, but like it wasn't a great movie. Yeah. <laughs> you know, how about you? Also a no for me. Even if the movies that we've seen that have basketball, I, I this mm -hmm. is my least favorite of are the basketball movies we've seen, which is surprisingly yeah, more than you that. think. Mm -hmm. But yeah, oof, this was rough. Yeah. So, that, that, that was a bummer. <laughs> <of them. laughs> Yeah, Sorry, bro. Tupac. I feel like I haven't liked any of the movies Tupac's been in. Yeah. I think this Juice might have fault, been my though. favorite. It wasn't his fault, you know. This that is true. His fault, you know, it was everyone else. I, he, he was carrying Juice the team. Was, <laughs> <laughs> Juice was the top Tupac movie for me in the Tupac yeah. movies we've seen. Okay, nice. Because nice, I did nice. not I like Poetic too. Justice, and yeah. this one is a big no too. But yeah, this yeah. one, I will. Blue, Tupac is not to blame for this one specifically. No, no. <laughs> Like, I, I yearned to see him on screen to learn more about what he was doing. Honestly, I would have rooted for him again if I knew what his what he was doing. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> but um, that was yeah, above the that rim. Yeah, was, that was above the rim. Um, YouTube housekeeping. Like, comment, subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. If you have any movie suggestions for us, you can leave them in the comments down below. We do movies on Tuesdays and Fridays. All of our socials will be in the description box down below. And we'll see you next time to catch up. Bye. No, this one was definitely like quick Google search, like black movies from the 90s. And then yeah. <laughs> like first one we haven't seen already, you know? Yeah. And you're like, but, is this how I'm really spending my time? Is this my weekend? Yeah. And apparently, apparently. Yeah. But, um. Yeah, I was waiting to exhale.
Or no, it rim. wasn't. That above was the above rim. the rim. This was above the rim. <laughs> the other guy that we watched. The other we record these one after the other. It's not my fault. Yeah. <laughs>